Hi, uh, we're here at Imagination's booth at GDC 2014. Uh, we're here with Ben from Old Winner. Um, ben, so a lot of people have been hearing a lot of good news about uh, Old Winner. Can you quickly introduce yourself and the company a bit? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, my name is Ben L. Baz. I'm managing international marketing for, for All Winner. Uh, and this year, we've released the Ultra Octa 80 processor, which is our, our highest end processor. Um, and it's a uh, an eight core configuration, uh, 4815s, 487s. Uh, we're actually featuring 64 core PowerVR G6230 from Imagination. So um, we brought a, a development board here, which is the very first uh, working sample of development board. So we're just kind of showing everyone uh, the performance of the device, and uh, we look forward to actually being able to ship with these very soon. Okay, good news. Um, so what we're looking at here is a few OpenGL ES 2.0 demos that you're gonna. Uh, quickly go over. Sure. Um, what, are, what is this so, showing? Yeah, as, as I mentioned with the uh, with the GPU that we have here, we actually support OpenGL ES 3.0, and this is just kind of a uh, a little bit of a demo to showcase the, the features of this API. Um, so we also have a few other demos to showcase on here. This is image adjustment. So this is a, uh, a demo of, of OpenCL and OpenGL ES uh, put together as kind of a hybrid demo. Um, and we've actually implemented an OpenCL driver uh, on this chip, on this board. So what's interesting about this, we can kind of switch between the, uh, this is running on the GPU right now, we can actually switch between uh, different modes here. So this is running on the CPU, which you can see has a lower frame, frame rate. So we kind of move to other demos as well. This is a uh, GT Racing 2 that yeah, we've connected a USB game controller here. Uh, so this is, uh, with such a powerful GPU and also very high performance chip, we're actually looking forward to, to running a lot of cool uh, high performance games on here. Kind of going here. What do you expect these uh, platforms to be available to game developers and consumers in general? Sure, sure. So these boards, we've done an initial run. We should probably be able to release them in about uh, in about a month or so uh, to developers and some of our early partners. Okay. What is your uh, what's been your experience with the uh, PowerVR 26 GPUs? Yeah, we're actually very very satisfied by performance, and, and we look forward to doing. Uh, continued performance optimizations. As I mentioned, you know uh, we have leading API support uh, with this GPU, and also very, very strong uh, parallel performance coming off with OpenCL and also uh, render script support. That's uh, very good news. Um, what do you think um, game developers will be able, to, and application developers in general, will be able to do with uh, the, the graphics and the compute? Um, do you expect um, them to be able to have new apps? Um, focus on particular areas like image processing or computer vision. Sure, sure. Well, some of some of the use cases that we see for uh, for parallel computing with this GPU and also with the CPU, it's like you mentioned, computer vision, uh, also image processing and, and other kind of image enhancement. So, um, you know, we're we're looking for on this board. It's actually pretty interesting that we uh, we have an interface for a MIPI camera. So that, that MIPI camera is uh, 16 megapixels. So something like that is going to be able to generate 4K video at 30 frames per second. Uh, so we look forward to being able to put that in the hands of people who are doing image processing, uh, kind of have a higher rate of uh, pixels to be able to uh, to be able to evaluate. Okay. So just kind of a quick look at the hardware of this board. It's pretty high performance in, in terms of the capabilities. Um, one of the features we, we have with this chip is 4K multimedia. Uh, so you can't really see it here, but you can actually see the hardware. Uh, 4K out through through HDMI at 30 frames per second. Uh, and also right here, there is a uh, this is actually a MIPI interface for, for a MIPI camera, about 16 megapixels. Uh, so we've chosen 16 megapixels in order to be able to take uh, 4K video and, and 4K photos. Um, so 4K HDMI out and also 4K uh, encoding and decoding, one of the strengths of the chip. Also in addition to that, in terms of on the board, itself, uh, you know, you've got Ethernet capabilities, also a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth combo chip, about two gigabytes of, of DDR, uh, so it's, it's pretty high performance. Also USB 3.0, because that's that's integrated on, onto the chip, so, uh, you know, we're looking forward to being able to get this in the hands of more people and more customers.